For today's adventure, we're in the green pastures of beautiful New Westminster. I believe the kids call this neighborhood Sapperton. Lots of great history here, including a big building away up top of this long flight of stairs. This is one of the few remaining pieces of the old BC Penitentiary. The BC Pen was a big maximum security prison, opened in 1878 and decommissioned in 1980. At one time, nearly 800 prisoners were inside. These stairs lead up to the prison's gatehouse, and we're visiting the gatehouse today because it is currently on the market. That's right. You can buy this amazing historical beauty. The BC Pen was a huge complex. There were various shops where inmates did painting, carpentry, and masonry. The prison had two chapels, Protestant and Catholic. Inmates ate meals in their cells because the prison didn't have a dining hall. But they had a big farm inside with flowers and potato fields. One time guards found marijuana plants that the prisoners were growing in those fields. A lot of trouble that day. There was livestock, including a thousand chickens. Inmates got to butcher seven pigs on Tuesdays. Thanks to the New Westminster Archives for these great pictures. My favorite part of the BC Pens history involves Billy Miner, the gentleman bandit who escaped. I'll tell you more about him in a minute, but first I want to tell you, this old beauty is for sale. An outstanding realtor named Leonardo De Francesco has all the details listed on his website. I'll include a link in the details section below. Leonardo says the upstairs is tenant occupied and the ground floor has a great restaurant space, about 12,000 square feet total. Great income and upside, he says. The old gatehouse had mechanical and electrical upgrades in 1989. Nothing to do but collect the rent. You can be the proud owner for just, oh, just over $5 million. Leonardo has pictures of the inside of the building on his website, but he didn't have any of the basement where the old solitary confinement cells still exist. So I called him and asked if he could show us down there. Let's go. Hope you're okay. Hope you're not worried. Oh, no, no, this is good. You know, people get scared and they come downstairs. So, I think for you to, uh... It's very, uh, not vlogger, I can get it on Instagram too, but, uh... Here, but this, if these walls can talk, I'll let you go do what you gotta do. Which room is the best room? I mean, this room here was, hang on, do what you gotta do. Let me just look. All right, we're in the basement here, and this is where the BC Pen's old solitary confinement cells were located. Apparently, prisoners who broke the rules or did something really bad were sent down here, and it was a pretty harsh punishment. They only got bread and water and a radio with two stations. No windows and lights on 24 hours. I guess some prisoners who spent time down here thought the conditions were inhumane. In 1975, there was a riot. And inmates made demands including hot and cold water in the isolation cells. I don't know whether they got it or not. I don't see any taps. Lots of incredible history down here. Looks like tenants of the building can use these little room for storage these days. Let's see if we can get Leonardo over here to chat a little bit about the building. What kind of people would be sent down here? Yeah, in this room, if, this, if these walls can talk, um, and you've got the little jails, the little cells that came across right here, um, you had murderers, serious, serial killers, 
the baddest boys in society that would uh, spend their times in some of these rooms in the basement of the gatehouse. It's a BC penitentiary. Uh, it's probably about 150 years old. Yeah, these, these walls can talk. I don't think they're going to be saying too many pleasant things. And they went on the internet and they said that there's a ghost that roams down here. And there's no ghost down here. The only ghost down here was me. So. Wow, so much history down here. I love it. Thank you very much, Leonardo. Thank you. At 65 Richmond Street, Leonardo has another piece of BC pen for sale. Folks around here call this the jail building. Built in 1887, I believe this was a staff building at the prison. I wonder if Billy Miner was ever inside here. Billy was a kind and generous man with very good manners. He started robbing trains to get the loot that rich corporations were shipping. People on the trains described his genteel manners and apologetic demeanor. A true gentleman, he was the first thief to use the term hands up. Everyone loved him. Police finally captured the fugitive near Kamloops in 1906. He was sentenced to 25 years of hard time in the BC pen. But that wily scoundrel escaped in 1907. Some say he tunneled out. My very good friend, Philip Borsos directed the phenomenal 1982 movie, The Grey Fox, all about Billy Miner. In addition to the jail building here, Leonardo's got for sale one more just around the corner. Let's go. You can also purchase this nearby building on Jameson Court, which is currently used as a church and a daycare. The building has the old prison call-in bell in the front yard. Cast in 1895 in New York, it took two years for it to travel around Cape Horn to get here. The bell used to hang atop the jail building and it rang when there was an escape. Billy Miner probably heard this big bad boy toll the night he slipped away into the darkness. Incredible stuff. There is another piece of the cemetery over on Glenbrook Ravine, tucked in between some condo towers now. This is Boot Hill Cemetery where they interred prisoners who died inside BC Penn. There are about 50 bodies buried here. They have a plaque that lists some of the bad boys who were resting in peace. The oldest marked grave is 1914 and the last one was in 1968. Joseph Smith and Herman Wilson are buried here. Joseph was a 24 year old sailor serving 10 years for throwing acid in the face of a Main Street jeweler. He and Herman tried to escape and there was a big shootout with the guards. Herman was shot in the neck and died after he was denied medical assistance. Joseph killed a guard and he was hanged in the yard in 1913 on the exact spot where the guard died. They buried Joseph in the far corner here at Boot Hill in the hopes that the world would forget him. In addition to the headstones, there are some unmarked graves including a member of Billy Miner's gang, Louis Calhoun. Here's the late actor David Peterson playing Louis in The Gray Fox. Louis helped Bill rob a train near Ducks, B.C. in 1905. He died in B.C. Penn in 1911 from tuberculosis. Billy Miner escaped from the B.C. Penn on August 8, 1907. They put up a $500 reward for his capture. But that clever rascal was never seen in Canada again. And they don't forget him here in the quiet neighborhood where the prison once stood. In fact, they named a street after the gentleman bandit. Thank you for watching this little taste of old New Westminster as she once was. Did you ever visit the BC Pen? Leave a comment if you did. And please tap that good subscribe button. I'm Jean-Claude Vancouver, and until next time, be good to the other.